Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the separate function in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and load the auto data set that comes pre-built in Stata. And let's say that we want to take the variable of miles per gallon, which as you can see there's there's one value for every car in the data set. And let's say we want to set it up, we want to separate that variable by the foreign status of a car, judging by the US. So domestic as American cars and foreign as uh, you know uh, cars that weren't manufactured in America. I'm going to enter in the following command and let you see for yourself what it does. The command to separate mpg is a variable that I want to have separated and foreign is the categorical variable that I want to have it separated into. So having entered this code stat automatically went ahead and created two new variables for me mpg0 and mpg1 and mpg0 was designed to hold all the values for uh, mpg for domestic cars and mpg1 is for foreign cars and if we go in and see it in the data set it's going to look like this so what used to be just this one column for a single variable miles per gallon has now been broken up into two into two uh, variables and two columns so now we have all the mpg figures for domestic separately from the figures for foreign and notice that the initial variable here mpg doesn't change so separate is a pretty handy utility for doing that we can go ahead and calculate how many values there are it looks like there are 22 domestic cars and 17 foreign and what they did in the stata documentation was they created a quantile quantile plot in order to understand the relationship between miles per gallon separated out here. I'm going to show you an alternative to that too in a minute, but let's go ahead and generate that that plot using QQ plot and then this the two variables that we just created, the separated variables, and look at that graph again. Now notice that what we have here is a perfect line where for example 30 over here miles per gallon domestic is the same as 30 foreign. If these values were uh, were equal to each other what we would see is that they would all lie on the line but we see that they're clustered over here for uh, for foreign and what that goes to show you is that the miles per gallon for the foreign cars is higher than the miles per gallon for the domestic cars if the domestic cars values were higher then we would see these values you know, clustered um, differently than they are that might not be a super handy intuitive way to understand that relationship so I've gone ahead and shown you how to create a box plot also using this code which like all the code that I demonstrate you can also grab from the 272 analytics website um, I'm just creating a box plot of miles per gallon and note here this is the unaltered variable so this is the one that we didn't we separated it but I'm invoking the original unchanged mpg variable and I'm go going I'm sorting it by foreign and the command that I'm highlighting here is just designed to label any potential outliers with the make of the car. So I entered that code. And I think this is a much better way of visualizing than the QQ plot. I did want to show you that because it's in the Stata documentation. Uh, but my guess is that for a lot of folks, uh, the intuition from a QQ plot won't be quite as useful as the intuition from this kind of box plot. Here, it's much more easy to see that the distribution for for miles per gallon is higher here for foreign than for domestic there's there's a there's a gap here and we also see there's a couple of outliers the Volkswagen diesel is an outlier among foreign and the Plymouth champion an outlier among domestic you won't always need to use separate like this command that I used over here to create the box plot did not rely on a separation of the variables we could have used a t-test as well but there are going to be situations in which separating out the values of a variable using separate it can be useful and so I did want you to know about that I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, 
uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.